Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Well, you know, we picked up 10.43 uh, inches of rainfall so far for the month. Uh, we're, you know, well ahead of the average, but we're still not in the top 10 wettest of all time. We've got 10.89 is the threshold. Now we still have a chance for some rain though where we might you know get up to that level and so maybe not so much today a stray shower possible today stray uh, but the 30% chance of rain tomorrow afternoon and then a 50% chance of rain tomorrow evening. Our model actually has some heavy rain in the area during that time and maybe we'll you know get into the top 10 then but if not maybe Wednesday 30% and then well Thursday also a 30% chance but then the month flips so our average uh, temperature is 89 degrees this time of year. We're going to be close to that today tomorrow. We're going to heat it up just a little more compared to yesterday, uh, but the humidity starts coming back and those temperatures go up as we go through the week. So we'll have that heat index over 100 going from Wednesday into Thursday and definitely on Friday. Now we have high pressure in the region, but there's also this area low pressure up in the northeast states and it's retrograding. It's going backwards a little bit and because of that, there's a few showers in our area. Uh, we have uh, our winds changing also here. We're going to have more of a uh, southwesterly wind coming in today. Now we do have at the moment some isolated showers right there on Wakefield. They're moving to the east and then also up towards the northern neck and the middle peninsula. But as these move to the southeast and go over the water, they should weaken eventually and fall apart. Right now they're still holding together though. Uh, they may affect uh, Tangier Island, Smith Island, and then maybe a little bit there affecting the outer or the eastern shore rather. So um, future track has partly cloudy skies. It's got that rain going away by the way in the next couple of hours, so we'll see. But it's got partly cloudy skies for the morning through noon and then in the afternoon it's partly cloudy with just a stray shower or thunderstorm in the region. I think most of us will miss out, but there might be one or two strays going on. And then overnight we'll have a few showers coming through. There'll be a little warm front that's going to skirt our area and it'll cause that. That'll be after midnight. And then um, tomorrow we're going to see a partly cloudy skies again. However, tomorrow a few shower storms in the afternoon. And boy, this cluster over here, if this grows and starts moving towards us, that could really put down some heavy rain. Maybe not so much in the early evening, but maybe the later evening hours. And the timing on that could change, so check back for updates on it. Today, temperature 87 in Virginia Beach, 88 in Norfolk and Portsmouth, 90 in Chesapeake, 89 in Elizabeth City, and 86 Kilova Hills. Partly sunny, a stray shower storm possible in the afternoon. We're near 90 in Williamsburg, but mid 80s in Gloucester and Hampton, mid 80s in Melfa, and then upper 80s in Newport News. Uh, winds will be out of the southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour. At the beaches, air temps are in the 80s, water temps are in the 70s. We have a low threat for rip currents in Virginia Beach, but a moderate risk as you go towards the Outer Banks. Uh, so in the tropics, we are tracking a uh, disturbance that's got a medium chance of formation as it moves to the west. It's over the Atlantic right now. Definitely some warm water down there, but there's also going to be a little bit of wind shear as it moves towards Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. So maybe that'll keep it from uh, forming into anything, and that is down to the southwest. All right, so seven day forecast. We got high temps in the uh, upper 80s for tomorrow and low 90s on Wednesday and then 93 on Thursday. Yeah, 95 Friday, a little lower chance of rain that day, allowing more sun. That's when the heat index will definitely be over 100, but it might be over 100 for Wednesday and Thursday.